Vamos Pode aí. Pode gravar? Bora. Hello. Hey. Dear all. Hello, Elder. <laughs> How are you doing, my friend? Great. <laughs> We are here directly from Portugal in this Higher Self Expo presentation and introduction of our speakers. And uh, today we have the pleasure to have this small interview with Elder Valente, which we will talk on this Higher Self Expo fourth edition coming from the European part. I am Rui Vasquez. I'm one of the European hosts side by side with Tania Castillo. I come from Live With Art organization. And today we're gonna know a little bit more about Elder Valente. So dear Elder, what do you have to tell us about you? Um, well, uh, I've dedicated my life to try to learn how nature works. And um, the book that I follow to achieve that is uh, called Permaculture in all its dimensions. Um, permaculture is focused on uh, understanding and creating sustainable systems. And we use nature as our model. And we apply uh, the language of nature in everything we do. So this is my life trip um, about understanding nature and how to create a more sustainable relationship between humans, uh, humans and the environment. Great. That seems very inspiring and a very deep uh, search in this life. And uh, so, according to your expertise and to your journey, learning with nature, uh, can you please give us uh, a little resume of what you will be talking on this next Higher Self Expo, which the topic will be where science meets spirituality? Can you please give us a resume of what are you bringing with your speech? Well, this is a very interesting topic, and um, I've been uh, around it for quite some time. And, um, you know, permaculture is a scientific, as a scientific appro approach. It was born out of ecology. And um, when we talk about nature and try to understand nature, often we end up with things that are hard to understand, like... Um, the sacred geometry and the golden number and the number phi and this infinite numbers, they are called infinite numbers. So it's a very interesting example about how science meets spirituality. We can look at nature based on physics and chemistry and biology, but there's always a little piece that it's hard to understand how all these things come together, how nature expresses in patterns in the same way from the microcosmos to the macrocosmos. We have spirals in our fingertips, we have spirals in our head, we have spiral galaxies. It's like a language. It's like if someone made the planet, he left some graffiti everywhere, which are these <laughs> patterns of nature, And um, the only way sometimes we can explain, explain it is with quantum physics, because traditional physics is not enough to explain everything that is going on in our, around us. So in permaculture, we try to meet science, scientific approach that everybody can reproduce, uh, but also this deep connection of nature and with its language. And then it can get a bit uh, mumbo jumbo because uh, <laughs> some things are hard to explain and hard to understand because they are infinite. They express in all levels. So in my presentation, I'm going to bring the permaculture approach based on our deep observations of nature and uh, how does science help us to understand nature's expressions and um, How can our connection with nature can reach this uh, deep um, metaphysical, some people can call it spiritual, but spiritual is about connection. So permaculture is about connection also. And we use science as our framework, 
but we stop our mind to be able to deeply connect with the language of nature. And uh, that's when science meets spirituality. <laughs> Great. Fantastic. <laughs> so in, inside permaculture, you, as you say, there's many sciences like mathematics, economy, econo economy, biology, sacred geometry, and so on. So you're going to bring us um, how these sciences are connected to the search and to the understanding of the language of nature. And you also told that there is uh, always a mystery, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, so permaculture is a holistic science. Uh, it's, not, um, it's not about specialization. It's more about diversity, holism, holistic approach, connecting all the dots. So it's a science of connections. And uh, we use all, all other sciences that are useful for us. Um, we are very focused on design. So it's a nature-based design, what we do, because nature is the most efficient thing that exists, most sustainable. Uh, we study a lot biomimetics, how does nature functions. And, um, you know, when you, when you study nature, you end up with this, uh, a lot of haha -ha moments. Like, how is this possible? You know, how, how was this designed this way? And uh, it's incredible, the things that we discover. And, um, you know, a lot of things we do, we cannot reproduce on the lab easily. There's more life in a soup spoon of soil in terms of microorganisms than habitants on this planet. Hmm. So that's how diverse it can get. And uh, you know, now we know that trees talk with, with each other. They, they um, help each other. They share nutrients. They share information. If there's a fire starting in the side, one side of the forest, the other side gets the information that the fire is coming. And uh, the way this information uh, is moving inside of the soil, it's a big mystery. The same way that it's a big mystery, our information is moving inside of our brain. Hmm. But in the end, we end up with these patterns. Information in the soil, it's like the information in our brain. The medicine for a plant is the same medicine for a human. Uh, the, the old uh, botanicists and alchemists, they say that the plant that you need to heal yourself is growing in your front door. So why yeah. does the plants that we need come close to humans? How can we explain that? So that's when it gets quantum. That's when it kind of gets spiritual. How does this information flow? Uh, what is the consciousness behind it? Is just random? Is just simple mathematics? Or are we talking about infinite numbers? So it's a big mystery. Nobody knows. Uh -huh. And uh, it's a hole that never ends. You start digging and it never ends. There's always more. And that's the magic of it. That's the mystery. Amazing. <laughs> Thank you for this uh, super inspiring perspective and way of looking to, to the wholeness of life and universe. It's always more to discover. That's true. And there's such many ways of intelligence that uh, we can connect with that is an infinite uh, discovery so i'm sure it will be super interesting what you have to share during this higher self expo and i'm really willing to listen more about this amazing topic and i also want to ask you this last question uh, what can we find in your website or which projects are you running so please tell us a little more about your work and your website. So um, my website and my work is very much dedicated into courses and education. So to transmit to people the things that we've been talking about, uh, understanding nature and applying it on, on sustainable design, using it to design a little garden in the city or to regenerate the desert, or to create uh, economies 
in which uh, are based on cooperation. So I organize a lot of courses. Um, I have a special course, which is a one month course, uh, residential full time, in which I present uh, different programs. Um, there's five days about soil, five days about water, five days about forests, um, 10 days about design. I do teacher training also. So all the different areas that permaculture focus and, uh, you know, to give that support to people on how they can relate with the surrounding and how can they relate with each other uh, based on uh, the way nature works. Um, I also work as a consultant, um, visiting different projects. Uh, I also uh, do social permaculture, which is a lot about um, project management and, and how can we create a dream together and eco villages. And uh, I also do land regeneration, lakes, dams, uh, forests. Um, so the focus of my work is very balanced between the, the nature part, the ecological part, and the social part, the human interaction. And um, I travel all over the world. Um, I've been working a lot with indigenous people in the Amazon and, and different countries, IT. Uh, always trying to learn with the traditional people and the, the native people, the indigenous people, and also bringing the scientific uh, approach, um, the science aspect, but also with very much based with the spiritual connection that the Indians have with the land and the way they relate with it. And then my work is focused on putting these two things together, make a big melting pot, and then present it on my courses and on my designs. Wow, <laughs> really, really nice. And the, very interesting also, um, your work, I'm sure, is very interesting. Uh, the work you do with the indigenous, with the source, with the, the humans really connected with the nature itself, like being part of nature itself. So thank you very much for your introduction. Uh, there's anything you want to say uh, before um, uh, presenting during the expo, you want to have a final comment? Do you have any expectation, any message? Well, uh, I'm really grateful for you, Rui, and for the people that invited me to be part of uh, this presentation. And um, I'm going to be sharing some special secrets of nature on my presentation. So, all right, invited to come and uh, learn a bit more about permaculture and about nature connection. All right, great. So I guess I see you there. Uh, don't uh, forget to stay tuned uh, to watch Elder Valente during this Higher Self Expo fourth edition. It's gonna happen 17 and 18 of July. Uh, Elder is gonna speak in 18 of July we will going to announce the schedule soon. And uh, this conference is going to happen all around the world. I bring again to the planet. It's going to start on the Americas. It's going then to Australia time zone. And then it will come to Europe and Africa, where we will be representing. And well, Ed Elder Valente will present his speech on where science meets spirituality focus on permaculture and understanding nature and the language of nature and the patterns of the universe. So thank you so much for being present. It's also a pleasure and an honor to have you with us. And uh, I wish you a beautiful day. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Stay well. Bye.